Hi, my name is Neil Malbon. I'm the collections curator for the BC Forest Discovery Center. So this is the Dolbeer steam donkey or spool donkey. This machine revolutionized the industrial logging in British Columbia. Prior to this being introduced, the uh, logging was done by oxen and horse, and oxen were the preferred way to harvest the logs. So oxen were reliable, they were docile, and they were very, very strong. And when they started clearing land in the 1870s and, and around the Cowichan Valley, they were the preferred animal over horses. In 1882, though, a guy by the name of John Dobier invented the Dobier spool donkey. And originally it had a horizontal spool, but today, and in 1883, it came about with a vertical spool or capstan. So our Dolby or spool donkey consists of a single cylinder steam engine which powers the capstan. And the capstan, using a rope, often a manila rope, can reach out about 300 feet. This one was purchased by the Victoria Lumber and Manufacturing Company in 1982 for operations around Chimanus. So this was purchased by the Victoria Lumber and Manufacturing Company in 1892 and was used in and around Chimanus. So the capstan has a maritime origins, probably goes back to the 11th century with the Spanish and was used on ships and then eventually became steam powered. And with our capstan, the, uh, it pulls the logs in. It pulls one direction. In order to get the line back out, you need a horse, and what, which is referred to as a line horse. They would use a manila rope, probably two to three inches in diameter, and the line horse with uh, horseshoes that had cleats or, or corks on the bottom of it, which would help it walk on logs and step over slippery surfaces, would pull the line out. They could go about 300 feet, and then using the spool would be able to pull the log back to the landing where they needed to go. So challenge with pulling the with the line horse is what you could get the line out and then we'd pull it back in eventually somebody figured out let's put another spool or a drum on here and that then allowed you to pull the lines back and forth and that's when we really got into the bigger machinery where eventually we ended up with logging equipment that was 170 tons and could go out a thousand couple thousand feet so the first double drum yarder was purchased by the Shawnigan Lake Lumber Company and it was built by the Washington Ironworks and that was in 1898. So that's what came after the Dolbeer's uh, vertical spool donkey. This was acquired in 1959 by Jerry Welburn and had a fair bit of work done through it with uh, Duncan Ironworks. Later on, Macmillan Blodell's Shimena Sawmill also did a lot of restoration on this for us. And today it's a static display, um, but is one of our more popular and more unique pieces of equipment that we have on the site.